Yesterday's video was about GM, General Motors. Today's video, also about GM, just a different GM, General Mills. The cereal maker is falling in early trading after warning that its earnings are going to come in below forecast. And this is pretty interesting. A lot of food companies for the past uh, few years have been contending with higher commodity costs, and it's not always easy for them to pass it on to consumers, and that sometimes does result in lower sales and earnings. So will this affect other food companies? That remains to be seen. Kellogg's actually on a bit of a hot streak earlier this week announcing a deal to buy the Pringles business from Procter & Gamble and they were able to do that because the company that originally wanted to buy Pringles, Diamond Foods, has to put it mildly some accounting issues to uh, contend with so they were unable to get that deal done. But when you look at other food companies it's not as bad as what General Mills is saying as well. Heinz and Campbell Soup also reporting results on Friday. Both stocks were a little bit higher as their earnings beat estimates, but I think really investors still, and consumers obviously for that matter, need to keep an eye on inflation. Fortunately, the CPI numbers that came out for January on Friday morning show that inflation's still relatively in check, nothing to get overly alarmed about. The quote unquote core CPI number up 2.3% year over year. It's a little bit higher than we'd like, but it's nothing that's going to set off alarm bells to the Federal Reserve. But food companies do have to keep an eye on commodity costs. Obviously, so do investors and consumers. So you may feel every time you go to the grocery store that everything you're paying for is a higher price, but that's not always the case. Just ask General Mills.